Hurricane Grace is now a Category 1 hurricane over the Cayman Islands and has just become one at 19.4 degrees north and 82.2 degrees west. It could do the same exact damage in the Yucatan Peninsula in a few days and maybe even hours. And with the latest information coming in at 12.30pm in Georgetown and Cozumel, we have winds of 75 miles an hour with a central pressure of 992 millibars. It's moving to the west-northwest at 15 miles per hour, and a CDPS stage 4 is currently in effect for the Cayman Islands in the Yucatan Peninsula. Breaking down the CDPS 4, again the Yucatan Peninsula tomorrow evening, uh, wind speeds at moderate to significant, storm size is moderate to, lo uh, to low at the moderate side, rainfall potential is rather major than a significant, but so between those, and the north of the land is moderate to significant. And all that equals a stage 4, which means that extensive damage is possible in the Yucatan Peninsula, and so all preparations should be done by now, or even later in this, in this day. But here's how the wind fields look like. We have it uh, with 100 miles to northeast, 90 miles to southeast, and 60 miles to northwest. None, no wind fields to be seen to the southwest currently. Warning sand watches are in effect, so please pause the video if you want to see them. But Georgetown is 11 miles away from the storm, west end 103 miles, 209 miles from Nueva Gerona, 373 miles from Cozumel, and 385 miles from Playa de Cardapin. Moving on to the intensity spread, it's actually kind of tight right there. SSC, SSCC and NOAA EDT are both agreeing on 65 miles an hour. Recon found winds of 70 miles an hour, which is pretty close to hurricane for a strength. And NHC and both first 13 are at 75 miles an hour as a hurricane. But then there's also the latest cone from 15Z. Uh, you can see they're moving onward to the Yucatan Peninsula. So already some hurricane warnings in effect for there, and it will eventually re strengthen to a hurricane, possibly a category 1 to 85 miles an hour, and strike the eastern coast of Cuba uh, with hurricane force winds. The sea surface temperatures around Greece is actually pretty favorable. Uh, between the gap of Greece and the Yucatan Peninsula, it's going to have enough energy to possibly undergo a rapid intensification phase uh, until weakening, of course, due to land interaction. But then also the Gulf of Mexico is looking pretty warm there. But then there's the H Worth model going a little outlandish with a major hurricane landfall in eastern Mexico. Rainfall wise, it could bring loads of rain to the Yucatan and uh, Gulf Coast of Mexico, uh, which, would, uh, which could lead to floodings and loads of natural disasters occurring. Well, but here's the model comparison from RAM. Uh, rapid intensification is really um, suitable right now with this environment that is currently uh, inside. A little, some models, of course, with the age were going a little outlandish to Category 3. She will rather increase to 20 knots, uh, but will still stay rather low for the storm to uh, continue intensifying. And the relative humidity also uh, going on an uptrend, uh, really, uh, really looking forward for a rapid intensification in the Gulf. Appearance-wise, it's looking very impressive uh, with many of uh, many, many convective bursts appearing over the center and south. Uh, also leading to a sign that it will eventually form the eye but will, or clear out the eye uh, as, it, as we move on.